Welcome back. They were hoping to get their COVID vaccine together. Unfortunately, they never got the chance to do so, Raphael. And now their families and friends are talking about the legacy that they leave behind. Ernest and Ann Wilkins loved each other, and that connection was felt by family and friends. I'm very heartbroken. Um, because I, I loved Ann and Ronald, just like my brother and sister. And I want people to take this serious. Ernest battled diabetes and cancer. The couple was diagnosed with COVID-19 in December. They were admitted to St. Vincent Hospital and placed on ventilators. They never left the hospital. Ernest died on Friday and on Saturday. Too much for one family. Too much for a long list of friends. She uh, was deeply committed to her profession and to her fellow educators. The IPS superintendent took this picture with Anne after learning they shared a birthday in May. Anne was a teacher with IPS for 13 years and then became a union leader, always promoting public school education. I think what she did well was sort of holding everybody to account because at the end of the day, her goal was to make sure kids were getting served well. As a kid, Ernest loved playing the trumpet. He graduated from Short Ridge High School, Ball State, and retired from All State. He loved sports and knew his stats. And every day, he was on the phone with the man that he knew as a child at School 43. And that's what we thought of each other, you know, is that we were brothers and we did everything together. We talked 10 times a day. If I woke up first in the morning, I would call him. If he woke up first in the morning, he'd call me. And on during the day, we would talk, I know, 10 times a day. The couple had many plans for this new year, including getting the COVID vaccine. The cruelty of the moment stings, but the promise of their heavenly rise brings comfort to those who are heartbroken. I would rather you have a reaction to the vaccine than to try to fight COVID, the disease, because a lot of times you won't win. And it's real. I've seen it for myself, and it's something that I don't want to see again. Those who knew Ernest would call him Ronald. All his friends called him Ronald. But today, Ernest and Ann Wilkins will be remembered and will be laid to rest in a private funeral right here in Indianapolis. Our condolences to their families and friends.